Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is part two of my Hero Clicks Uncanny X Men review for what the boosters I opened up. If you've not seen it, go check out part one. And, well, if you're still here, then you're looking for part two. Today, I'm reviewing the uncommons. I have just about eight of them to review. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them to review for you guys. I did part one, which is the commons. In part three, I will be un or unboxing. I will be reviewing the rares and the chase that I pulled. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the uncommons that I pulled. I'm going to go ahead and quickly cycle through the cards just to show you really, really briefly who I got. So we have Cyclops... Caliban, Brood, Beast, Sabretooth, John, Greycrow, and Juggernaut. That's a mouthful. John Greycrow. Yikes, I hate to have that name. So, we have Cyclops here. Go ahead and look at his card right now. He's actually pretty cool. He's part of the all-new X-Men, so I don't really know who he is. Yeah, he's still Scott Summers. He's just got a different outfit on. So, where is he? Uh, I'm blind. He's, your, he's the first row. Okay. So, here is, he's 100 points. A little more expensive. I really like the red translucence that they used for his laser beam. Looks really nice. Go ahead and cycle through his dial. You can go ahead and take a look at it if you want. I'm not going to go really too in-depth with these guys. If you want me to, I could. Just drop a comment down below asking. But I'm just going to do what I feel like. Next up, we have Caliban. He is pretty cool, actually. I like him. I have to like the sculpt of him and his Morlocks. So here's what he looks like. He's 40 points. He's pretty dang cool, if I do say so myself. And he doesn't, a lot of these guys don't do much, but honestly, I think that they'd be pretty fun to play in some events. We have Brood here. Just the regular one. Uh, I actually don't know what these guys do, so I'm probably going to build a fun team of Broods. Have, like, two Brood Queens and, uh, like, four Broods. This is what the Brood dial looks like. It's uh, 30 or 50 points, if you can see that on the card. It's kind of hard to see its dial. So I'm just going to slowly kind of click through it. So not bad. Yeah, there we go. Next up, we have Beast. Go ahead and take a look at his card. I really like that time lock trait a lot, a lot of the all-new X-Men have. Opposing characters can't use probability control to reroll attacks made by, tar or made by or targeting this, this character. I really think that that's pretty dang cool. Ew. Next up, we have... Oh, crap. There we go, okay. Here we have Beast's Dial. He actually does have Outwit, so that's pretty good. He's probably one of the only characters in the set with Outwit. I don't know many others who do have it. And he also has support at the end, so a nice 75-point character for an all-new X-Men theme team, a past, or a scientist theme team. So there's always that option as well. Next up, we're looking at Sabretooth. Here we have Mutant Massacre, and Massacre is our more specialty. He is one of three... I'm pretty sure, uh, Sabretooth is set, the chase, this one, and there's a rare, I'm pretty sure. His sculpt's pretty weird looking, but at 75 points, he actually is pretty good. He pushes onto a 12 attack, so he's a nice piece there as well. We have two more to go through. We have Gianni Greycrow. Go ahead and read him as well. And then it's the back of his card. I'm showing the back of the card just because some people ask to see him. I don't really know. These are just quick little videos reviewing the guys. Not really in-depth at all, but just kind of in general. This, whoop, I'm bumping the camera too much because the I'm actually like creating a little chart almost like to my right on accident. Just putting the guys in order. Yeah, I gotta fix that really quickly. So, on to the last guy. Probably my favorite of the uncommons. Juggernaut. Out of the way, and the helmet protects me. You might want to take a look at those. I'll go ahead and let you pause the video if you want to see those. 150 points, but he does have the mystical keyword. That is one reason I like him a lot. Play him on a lot of those mystical themed teams. He is going to be so fun. This is what the Juggernaut does look like, and to prove the myth, yes, his helmet does come off. It has like little detachable things that go onto his head. So, I think that's pretty cool. Go ahead and take a look at his style. Obviously, he's a bit more of the better Juggernauts, honestly. The one from Invincible Iron Man was kind of a letdown. And now, since that set rotated out of Modern, you can't play him anymore. I, that is in Modern Events. But, that's going to conclude it for the commons and uncommons. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Connor, and I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye.